A quiet neighborhood rattled by gunfire it was after 11 at night and most were in bed when they heard what they thought were fireworks. But when they went outside, they saw police. They had long guns and I said, this is really a real situation, so back up. And we were actually behind the engine of the truck to keep cover. Moments before a horrifying scene right outside their doorstep. A woman ran for her life from this White House on Mirror Place. Her estranged husband, Lieutenant John Formisano, allegedly chasing her with a gun. She went door to door trying to get away. She was saying, let me in, let me in, I'm shot. But it was late at night, everybody was sleeping. Then she made it down to the next house, but he was still in pursuit of her. He walked up to her and I don't know how many times, but you heard probably six pops down there. The woman died in her neighbor's yard two houses down. Her boyfriend was also shot. Her two small children were home at the time. Neighbors heard police shouting to a little girl inside. She was standing in the window. They, I'm guessing they thought the shooter was still inside, so they weren't going in, and they had the little girl at the window, so they didn't want her to move and to go in there and get hurt too. Formasano fled the scene before police arrived. He was later located and arrested. A 24 year veteran of the Newark Police Department, Formasano was immediately suspended without pay. He was nice as can be. He was, you would never think he would snap like this. The Newark Police Department released a statement saying their first concern is for the couple's two children. They said Lieutenant Formasano's colleagues in our police division were shocked by the news of the shooting. The woman who died and her boyfriend have not yet been publicly identified by police, but the boyfriend is listed in critical condition tonight.